Hi, I'm Mike Bernstein. I'm the VP of R&D at Mestrelab. I know a lot of you are using NMR to look at reaction progress. And what I'd like to do today is to show you how you can use MNOVA to follow your reactions in real time and use the software to actually do things for you when conditions are met. We call this the listener. It works this way. In principle, what we have is a particular folder where data are written by the spectrometer as they are collected, and the listener will sit there and watch that folder for it to appear, and as soon as it appears, it'll import it into MNOVA, do all the reprocessing, and look for conditions to be reached. So here we go, this is the way it works. We go to Advanced, Reaction Monitoring, and Listener. I tell it which particular directory I'd like to look at, and this is the directory where the data will be copied as they appear. And um, these are some conditions here that I can set, some maximum limits. I can set some files to be written if I'd like. Um, I can move to the next screen, and then here I can specify a particular processing template to be used on each spectrum as it's, as it's imported into the project. I'm moving to the next screen. This is an important one because here at the bottom section I can specify some conditions that relate to the way in which the integral information is converted into concentration information. So for example what I'm doing is that I'm specifying that the initial concentration is actually 10 millimolar. And in this top portion here I can specify triggers. And this is for one particular series I'm looking at this particular portion of the spectrum from 2.15 to 2 ppm and um, doing a, a best fit to the data automatically. And this is the trigger section over here. So I'm specifying that the Y value, which is the concentration, should be when that is less than 2. Then a message appears over here and a command is applied to the to the to the window. In this case, I'm just firing up the calculator just to show you that it works. And I'm telling it that I want it to stop importing when that condition is reached. And you can have several of these, multiples of these, as, as you see fit, as you'd like to monitor. So when I've got this set up, all I do is click Finish, and that sits and waits now for me. And what I'm going to do in the next window on the side here is to set up the transfer of files into into the listen folder. So here it starts. Move that out the way. And I'm going to zoom in on the region of interest. Like that. And you can see what's happening is that if you look in this reaction listener window over here, you can see the files being dropped into the folder and picked up by Mestrelab MNOVA. And what you can see on the right hand side in the main screen is that the graph is being updated with each spectrum appearing every couple of seconds. Okay, so here we go. We've reached the condition where the concentration is less than 2. An information window has been thrown up, and this is a little message that I specified. I'm happy with that. And it started the calculator as I asked it to do. So it's done everything, and it's shut down the listener project. So there you have it. Uh, this is the listener in MNOVA, and it's very, very useful, I believe, for looking at in-time reaction monitoring. I thank you for your attention, and please feel free to visit the Mestrelab website for further information with regard to the reaction monitoring. Thank you. Bye-bye now.